I got a question for you. Do you like to touch files? Well, if that is so, that means you like to modify the timestamps on your files. Because that's what touch is all about. So the touch command is a command we're going to use today. Let's go to our home directory. Let's take a look at the files in this directory. And let's start touching away, touchy-feely. So we have here this particular file here. Uh, fix x, 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 It's not that many x's. Come on, guys. All right, so we're going to touch that file. And you can t take note of the timestamp on it right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and touch and file name, capital X, tab it out, and boom. Now let's see what the, what the date on that is. And actually, let's, let's be a little bit smarter about this here. So we're going to do it that way. That should work, shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? There you go. There you go. So we can see the timestamp has been updated to 1925. It previously said 1914. Pretty slick. So that is one thing you can do, but there's some other things you can do, some pretty cool things. So not only can you touch the file to update its timestamp there, you can also do this, which is pretty cool. I can type in touch-t, which is going to allow me to type a bunch of random numbers and when I'm done t typing these random numbers, you're going to see a very interesting effect. Boom! I messed it up. Well, let's see if I did or not. Check it out. Check, check, check it out. Oh, not random numbers. Date. Not only can you update it to the current date and time, but you can update it to whatever the hell time you want. I just made this file a... 30, what, 37, 38 year old file from 1976, February 5th. So that is some pretty cool stuff that you can do here. Now, some of the other numbers got ignored because I put the date so old. But if we do this again, let's not make it 1976. Let's make it 2014. So it's something more current. Let's see what happens with that. Aha! Voila! So we have now it has the actual timestamp because, as you know, with really old files, we don't care about the time anymore, so we just put the year. So there it is. So basically, this is not random numbers. I tricked you. This is actually the date format. So we have four digit year, and then we have. Uh, I'm going to mix this up, but one of these is month and one of these is days, and then you have the time. So 1300 being one o'clock. So if this video was helpful for you, actually, no, 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 okay, sit, sit, stay right where you are. There's one more thing I want to show you, one more cool thing I want to show you. So what else we can do with touch? We can also do touch. Um, this file was not here, uh, whatever, and hit enter. What on earth am I doing now? What is that all about? Well, what I just did is I just created an empty file. Now you're wondering, why would you want to create an empty file? That doesn't make any sense. Well, it's possible that you're, you're working on a script where you may need to generate an empty file to use later on. So you can generate the file and then access the file later on to put data into it. Now, obviously, there's ways where you can create a file all in one step. Like, for example, you could output something from, from a file and say, sorry, and say, you know, whatever, whatever, and type in a file name. But there are situations where you may actually want to do it this way. So that's a very cool thing to be able to do to actually generate a empty file on the fly. You're watching Carlisle Speaks Wall Street, and this is helpful for you. Then thumbs up, man. What's wrong with you? Thumbs up. Thumbs up the video. Really appreciate it. Subscribe. Comment below. Have a great day. And quit touching people that you don't know, buddy, ma'am, whoever you are that's listening to this video, and I'm out.